my god! Hi. Um... I didn't, uh, realize you were here already. Um... My bad. I'm not very good with, um... Planning. <laughs> Whoops. Um, well... I'm gonna finish what I've got here. Welcome back to Month of Mayhem Part 3. Uh, Cthulhu, you wanna... You wanna do the thing? Welcome back to A Month of Mayhem, Part 3. Another three games on my wheel of now 31 games. And this week we have three very, very uh, spicy boys. Cthulhu rolled us our wheel, rolled us our wheel, spun us our wheel first, and it landed on Kingdom 2 Crowns. I don't know what this is. But it's in my library. <laughs> okay, we'll do normal, but there's Kingdom Two Crowns, Kingdom Shogun, and Kingdom Deadlands. And then over here, it looks like Kingdom Norselands. Okay? I am in. This is the theme of Month of Mayhem, right? I have no idea what any of these games are when I boot them up. So... A solitary queen carries the crown to a new land. Okay, what the fuck? Go that- okay, alright, this is a very, uh-huh, very peaceful, tranquil game. Kingdom! Oh my god, the crown's cracking! Oh my god. A great gameplay. I'm just holding down right- Oh my god, there's coins! Yo. Get, oh my god, game of the year. Game of the year. That's a very satisfying coin sound effect. Hold to light a fire. Oh, okay. What? Stand here to buy a bow. Okay, so down. How about... Oh, now I just have a dude follow- wait, what? Follow? Who are we following? Oh, we're following him? Oh, okay. What the hell? To buy a hammer? Okay, hammer's been bought. Build a wall. Ah! Double tap! Then <laughs> we now gallop! It's a very pretty game, but I don't necessarily know what kind of game it is, you know? You catch my- Throw coins to recruit. Aha! Aha! Oh, okay, sorry, we have to stand beneath the tree. To expand, you must clear the land, but it will cost more than just coins. What? What is this game? Get another bowman. Okay, now I'm out of money. Build, explore, defend, conquer. What? <laughs> Do I only use my keyboard or like the, the, the arrow keys for this game? Okay, so, oh, okay, I don't know what's happening. Oh, oh, they're hunting and collecting coins. Okay, who are you? What is this? What? Yeah, there's lots, lots of deer, okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but I will say I gallop rather slow. Not a fan. But I am a fan of money. Does my horse have stamina that she has to refill or something? Yeah, she must. Eh, Mother Mayhem's great. This is great content. This is a boat. Oh. Do I have enough coins for this? Whoa! I have enough coins for a boat! 
So are they gonna go build that boat? To graze is to ensure your crown. What does that mean? Okay, this is rather unorthodox for a month of mayhem. But I'm gonna go figure out what in God's name this game is, so... I'll be right back! I'll be right back! Okay, I'm back. Uh, what happens if I do this? Ah-ha-ha! Uh, -ha. Okay, so... You were probably screaming at me through your computer, but I finally figured out just what exactly this game is. And what is it? It's kind of like a survival base building game, I guess? Um, it's kind of cool, actually. It looks really, it's, uh... What, what happens if I upgrade this? What's this? Oh, it's just more walls, okay. Yeah, but essentially you explore, everything is on this 2D plane. You explore, you collect coins, you do stuff. I'm yet to figure out what exactly you do because I wanted to keep a lot of what I was looking at spoiler free. Um, but it's very, it's really, it's, it's, it's an inter it's an interesting one, all right. I don't know what that is. Does that mean I survived the night? What does that mean? What does that, what does that bell mean? Are all of my soldiers dying? What's happening? <laughs> There's a lot going on in this game, shockingly so. Uh, I did not realize what exactly this was. Yeah, I don't, oh, can I just keep slowly building the boat? Sick, okay. Um, interesting. Music kind of slaps though. The music and the and the art style all kind of it all kind of slaps. Uh, I'm out of money though, so not much. Oh, I dropped one. No, no, that's that's mine. Oh, if I give him money, then he'll return later with more money, is I think what someone online said. Okay, well, I think I understand. I think maybe I don't know. I really don't know what's happening. I'm so sorry. Ah! Kingdom Two Crowns. Interesting. Uh, I don't remember where this game came from or how it ended up in my Steam library, but looking into it more, having played just a little bit of it and looking more into it in the outside, uh, it looks really, really interesting. It's essentially like a 2D scrolling survival game, kind of. Uh, and then you're building a kingdom and you're exploring and collecting money and building and upgrading and getting stronger and there is fighting in it, I guess. There's like, like sieges and stuff. It all looks very interesting. It's not the most exciting thing to watch someone play, especially when they don't know what they're doing because apparently it hides a lot of stuff like in its mechanics that it doesn't really teach you and it asks you to explore its mechanics to unravel certain things. And I really like that. I like that kind of philosophy when it comes to especially survival games. It's really, really interesting. I am intrigued. The art style is really cool. I really like the way it plays. It literally only uses your your arrow keys, as far as I'm aware. And it plays super easy, yet it's probably one of those games that has a lot of depth to it, even though on the surface it looks far simpler than I think people, uh, myself included, gave it credit for when I first looked at it. I was like, I don't know what this is. It looks interesting. I will definitely be booting it up again, giving it another try, because I am intrigued. Oh, you're still, you're still here. Um, well, I just have to, all right, I just have to grab, to grab these real quick. Ah, bumping stuff. Um, and then I gotta grab, I gotta grab more stuff here. Oh, I'm knocking stuff over. Crap. Um, well, I've just gotta just I just got stuff to grab, okay? I'm moving. Okay, I'm moving soon, alright? Just Cthulhu, I thought we talked about distracting them for a brief moment. Could you spin the wheel again, please? Please?
the Binding of Isaac, probably one of the most well-known roguelikes in the history of indie roguelikes ever. This game came out in 2012, I believe, and just is just the, it came, it whipped out its dick, it showed everyone its giant binding dick and has stood the test of time for over a decade now. And it has sat in my Steam library since I believe like 2014 and I have never touched it. That's not true. That's not true. I have died seven times in a game with permadeath in a game about constantly running and doing it over. I've died seven times, all of which probably were on one. Like I booted the game one time. Binding of Isaac. I'm really excited for this one because I know that it has a lot of similarities to like Enter the Gungeon because it is a very bullet hell roguelike style game, but I really like the vibe of Binding of Isaac. So let's try it. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son Isaac will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Okay, all right, okay, sorry. Thank you, I, I love that cutscene so much. I've seen that before. Um, I've seen that cutscene before and I and I absolutely adore it. Okay, cool. Press E to bomb and use space to use our items. All right, let's do it. Okay, here's a key. Oh, I have to place a bomb probably, right? If I hadn't already used it, that's fine. That's fine. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, that's not a good start. Oh, that's not a very good start. Is your body still? Your body will still hurt me. Okay, interesting. Oh, you're the oh, you're the fly sacks. Oh, I hate this. I was oh shit. I think I just walked into the boss room. Fuck! No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to explore some more shit. Well, it was recommended to me in a time of my life before I really liked roguelikes. Um, before I had found um, Risk of Rain. Before I had found it, like any of the roguelikes that I really really love. Um, Risk of Rain is the only one that's coming to my mind right now. Um, Prey Moon Crash, does that count? I really like that. Sorry, I'm fighting a boss right now with with no gear to my name. Oh, but I'm not doing terribly, I guess. Hopefully, maybe. Like, I, I guess I guess this isn't a 
isn't a bullet. Maybe it is a bullet hell. It gives. It's like Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda roguelike, right? People are gonna get mad at me if if the early Legend of Zelda games were technically roguelikes. I've never played any of the original Legend of Zelda games. I. I'm just backing myself into a corner, okay? I, I'm i really focused right now. We're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Go! Okay, let's try that again, and let's not go to the boss immediately. Right? That sounds like a good idea. Oh, shit. Fuck off. Fuck off, you weird... Fuck off with your spider-ass spiders. No, shit! I'll piss off! I hate this game. This is the worst game I've ever played. Oh, I got a money! Heck yeah. Oh my piece of ass. Okay, so I'm gonna guess the, the next boss I'm gonna fight is a spider boss, considering that I'm fighting spiders right now, right? Yeah. That sounds reasonable, right? Oh god, the music's intense, dude. Ow! Wait. Oh, it's big tears now. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a bon- oh, that, that bonfire hurts you, I guess. Ah! Wait, how the fuck? Is it- do I not? I guess I can't put it out. Alright, we should go find a key. Oh my god, Isaac versus- What? What? <laughs> huh? Okay, alright, let's try- okay, alright, one more time. Fuck, the spiders, dude. What's in here? Oh, it's a- Oh, it's a crown of- Blood of the Martyr. Oh, now my weapon is a bl is blood. Nice, yeah, because it's a crown of thorns. I really like the aesthetic of this game. The the um the um like the what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like the martyrdom. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. A crazy religious, I guess. I don't know. All I can really think of is the word martyrdom because I'm wearing a crown of crown crown of the martyr. Dude, the music is so intense, though, man. It's sick. Oh, my God. Get the fuck away from me! Die! Oh, I got a chest! What's in the chest? I got two keys! Which means I could probably go up this way, right? <gasps> Ooh, what's this? Book of Shadows and a second Book of Shadows. What does the Book of Shadows do? Oh, is it just like a... I guess it's just like a shield or something? Wait, what? Yeah, hit space to you. I guess I used it already. Whoops. All right, let's try the boss. Ah, nope, nope, not a fan. Nope, I take everything I said back. This sucks. I hate it. So, oh my God. No, stop. I'm trying to destroy your little eggs before they sprout. Stop it. How big of spiders do they turn into? God damn it. God damn it. This game fucking sucks! <laughs> one more time, one more time. No, it's one more time, one more time. This is one of the classics, this is one of the greatest. Um, I should remember that I have bombs. I probably should have left, set bombs by the, uh, by the, by the spider egg, shouldn't I have? Ooh, what's this? My reflection? What? <gasps> Yo, they're like boomeranging tears, that's sick! Okay, cool. Does poop do anything in this game? Is it just like a- is it just like a defense that like crumbles? I'm gonna go into this weird mouth thing! Oh! Oh, it took half a health to do that. Oh, interest- Oh, and now I've got- Nice. Interesting. What the fuck? Oh god! Shit! Oh, hey, I did it. Cursed skull. Cool, I don't know what that is, but let's fucking go- What the fuck?! Like, look, I know I've missed out on like a year, on like a decade's worth of lore and and a community, but I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to have fun here, right? Okay, I'm try, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to be a part of the community, you know? I'm just trying to f fuck me, fuck me, fuck! Oh my God! One more time! One more time! One more time! I swear to Christ! Why does he open himself like that? I don't like when things open themselves like like fucking Cenobites from Hellraiser. Ow! I thought I dodged that in time. Oh, I'm about to I'm about to beat somebody. Stop! 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 Yeah! Yeah! I kicked his ass. Oh yeah! I got a two of clubs. I don't know what that does, but. 
But I used it already. Oh my god, oh my god, why do they jump? Why do you jump? Why are you jumping? Don't, oh my god, don't, don't jump on me! Stop it! Okay, all right, cool, you're dead. Oh my god, that's a lot of headless things. Is this like the mama head? And if I kill the mama head, they all- No, but that one, it did drop a chest for me, nice. All right, one more boss round, let's go. Mm -hmm. Lots of different bosses so far. Oh, it- Oh, I hate it. I, I hate it. Oh, they know what they're do. Oh, oh my God. I hate it. Thanks. I absolutely hate it. Ah, I'm gonna die. Oh my God. Yep, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die because I just walked into him. Binding of Isaac, a classic. Yeah. Yeah, but it has the same issue that I said last week with Hero Siege. It is a roguelike, and in order to get into a roguelike, you need to really understand it, and it takes a long time to understand all of the intricacies of a new roguelike. Does it look really cool? Yes. Does it have an aesthetic I, I like? Yes. Does the music slap? Oh my god, I was unaware of just how fucking hard the Binding of Isaac music went, and I have felt- I feel like I've been behind on a decade's worth of video game music now, because holy shit, did that slap so hard. Hells yes, did the music slap. But I have no idea what's going on. Just like Enter the Gungeon. When I played Enter the Gungeon with my buddy Dexter, I have zero clue what's going on, and I play it constantly, and I constantly get my ass wiped, and I just have to learn, I have to look at some stuff, I have to maybe look at other people play it, just kind of get my feel with the roguelike in order to really understand the inc inc intricacies of the gameplay. Binding of Isaac is really cool, and I've always admired Binding of Isaac from a distance, and now that I've actually kind of played it a little bit and I understand it a little, I, I, I always knew what it was. Now that I've actually played it, it's definitely a game that I think I've got to come back to because it's it's iconic. It's a classic. I need to come back to it. But there are, are a bajillion roguelikes on my plate that I still need to beat. I haven't beat Hades. I haven't beat Dome Keeper. Well, I guess I've beat Dome Keeper, but I haven't like, I, I, there's still more to do in Dome Keeper. Enter the Gungeon. There's so many other roguelikes that I have that I also need to, you know, finish and do better with um biden of isaac gets two thumbs up but at the same time it's i i don't know when i'll play it next because i got a billion other things i gotta play but it, a a plus biden of isaac what are you still here dude stop i cthulhu we had one okay yeah fine you want to stick around look fine look Look, see, it's a mess. Look at it, see, see, look, it's a light. It's a wall. There's nothing here. There's nothing here for you. I, I'm moving. There's, there was nothing here to begin with, and now it's all just, I, I what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about it, huh? Give the loop. Can you spin the wheel for the third game, please? Can I have a little bit of privacy in my own home, please? And the third and final game for Month of Mayhem is one that I should have played a long time ago. This is Metro Exodus. A game that was gifted to me through a humble bundle. Thank you, Dexter. You're the sweetest. And yet I haven't fucking played it! <laughs> I, 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 I know, I know that I have needed to that I really want to, but I have never found the time. And it's really hard because I'm gonna be playing it for this month of mayhem. I'm gonna go, wow, this is really good, but I'm also in the middle of playing The Witcher 3, the next gen update, which means when am I gonna get into another open world game? I don't know, but it'll be here when I can. And I am, oh, I'm so excited to play this on camera. I'm so excited, okay. For experienced FPS players, every encounter presents you ammo resources must be jealously guarded. Okay, we're gonna do it with hardcore. If you don't know what the Metro series is, it is a series 
how do I explain this? They were, I think, Russian. Remember life before the war. I'll get back to you. Hang on. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there on the surface. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for Eight life billion in the tunnels. That's okay. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. This is basically setting up all the prologue. It's a really cool cinematic, though. I love the 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 train framing. That's really fucking cool. Only fifty thousand managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren or their grandchildren might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Okay. If you don't know, the Me uh, the Metro series, as I believe it was a series of books written in Russia about a nuclear war that obviously takes out the surface Earth and it forces a group, like all of the survivors to go underground into the Russian Metro system and they basically create, it is a post-apocalyptic story taking place in the Metro of Russia. It's a really, really cool concept. And the books were picked up by A4, an indie developer in the mid 2000s? and they made metro and from there we have had three games we have had metro metro last light metro exodus? i don't know all the metro games i have all of them but i have not played any of them um but i have heard metro exodus is the best one and it slaps so hard and i want to give it i, I want to play it i want to play it so bad when i have the time so we're going to cherish this we are going to cherish this while we can because I am excited. Very dark game and I have a lot of lights on my face, so it makes it a little bit hard to see what's happening. But that's what I am. Oh, dude. Dude, fuck yes. Hello. That is a skeleton. Use L to light the web with your lighter. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. The detail in this first zone is kind of impeccable. Now you're probably wondering, well, is this a horror game? Yes and no. Metro has serious survival horror elements to it, but I don't know if I would ever call it a survival horror game. I, I say having never actually um, played. What, what do I have to do? I have to cut all the webs off. Never actually having played any of them, but just from what I've seen. Yeah, shut your fucking face. Is this a shotgun? Yes, it is a shotgun, and it only has one bullet left in it. That's fun. Ah, uh, arachnophobia trigger. Ah, I'm sorry about that one. Holy sh- oh my god. Oh my god, that actually got me. What the fuck? I am not, okay, I need to clarify. I want, I need to clarify. I am not an arachnophobe. I, in fact, love spiders. But that was uncalled for and sent shivers right up my spine. Uh, wowza, that got me. All right, that um, was actually fucked up of you, game. That was stupid, and I hope you regret your actions. Okay, see, that one didn't get me. That's, that's a big, that. Uh, oh my God, I can still feel it on my shoulder. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, you got no more ammo left, buddy. 
There's a book? Great, I'm not gonna read that. Oh, I got ammo, hells yeah. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. You remember I said this, I didn't think this was a horror game? I may have misspoken. I may have misspoken about that fact. Oh, hello, hi. There's a lot, that's a lot of you. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's up? No, wait, hang on. Hang on, I feel like this is a scripted death. How am I supposed to, f maybe not. Maybe I'm just bad at video games. Ah, maybe though. There's a lot of you guys. I also forgot melee was a thing, so that's fine. No, this is definitely scripted. I'm out of ammo. Yeah, no, I'm not supposed to survive that. There's no way. I am supposed to survive that? Okay, one more time. Hang on. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. Oh. Well, that prompt just didn't show up the first time. Yeah, see? That makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah! Punch the... Gnarly. Yeah, punch the thing. Yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. Oh my god. Yeah, right there. Stab it. Jesus Christ, there's so many! What? Yeah, yeah, we're dragging him out. Don't worry, everything is under control. Thank you. Yeah, I got bombarded by enemies. Oh no, I'm bleeding. Uh... Okay. Do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? Metro Exodus, ladies and gentlemen. Metro Exodus. I feel like I've contributed nothing of substance to any of these games. But that was Metro Exodus. Good goodness gravy. Is it a game that I have been dying to play? And that only whetted my appetite, man. I... Oh, I've heard nothing but good things about this game, and I, I, I want to play it so badly when I get the opportunity to just really sink my teeth into it. But alas, and unfortunately, it is not right now. But that was week three of Month of Mayhem. We had Kingdom Two Crowns, a game that is shockingly unique and different. I'm very excited to try out some more. Binding of Isaac, a roguelike that pretty much pioneered the idea of indie roguelikes and has an aesthetic that I absolutely love. And Metro Exodus, a game that I have been dying to play for ages, and that only makes me want to play it more. So overall, it was a pretty sick week for Month of Mayhem. We had three games that I did not think I was going to enjoy as much, like Binding, both Binding of Isaac and Kingdom Two Crowns were games where I was like, am I really going to... Am I really gonna like that? The answer was yes, I did. And that's really great because the first week of Month of Mayhem had a couple of games where I was very iffy on whether or not I liked them. But this time around, we have a much better situation. So thank you guys for checking out another week of Month of Mayhem. And to those of you who celebrate Christmas, I hope that you and your families have a wonderful Christmas. And for those of you that don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you all stay warm. And if you live in Australia, I hope you fucking freeze to death. I don't know. I can't thank everyone. I can't wish everyone a good everything. Just, I uh, just, you know. I think that's just how all my videos are gonna end is me just rambling into the ether and then just hard cut to the outro. <laughs>